Uh, there's something, uh, this is Bibi. There's something I've noticed about this uh, voice in my head. Now, I, I like to sing little ditties, like, you know, just make them up. Like if I'm playing a game or something, I distract myself. Because um, she doesn't stop. She is doing this like 24 hours a day. I don't know what she wants. Again, I don't believe that the woman who is doing this, and like I said, I know who she is. And she knows that I know who she is. Because she made it abundantly clear. At first, when it started, I used to literally ask her, are you dead? Because this looks so unreal to me. I asked her, I said, are you dead? Are you dead? Don't know. Because I thought, is she a ghost? Or what, what? This seems so unreal, you know? <laughs> What she's trying to do is she's trying to like, uh, like I would sing, 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 sing these ditties. It's like part of the problem was that of what happened last year that made all this, uh, the prelude to what happened after is somebody was, was, uh, was uh, bringing it to my awareness that they might have been involved in some ugly activities. And I don't know exactly what the nature of the activities were, but the people involved, unless he was 100% wrong and a liar, and just a disgusting human being himself, then something is definitely wrong. And I would have to say something is wrong because I'm looking at their behavior after, from then to now, the continued pattern of behavior. They're, they're exhibiting some really ugly, nasty behavior towards me. Now, they didn't learn this in a month or two to do all this. They were in the works. They were planning this for a long time. They were planning this for a long time. From the, what they're doing to me, I would say these people are not very nice people, and that's putting it mildly. In fact, I think that they're horrible people. They're people with no conscience, no empathy, and no sense of right or wrong. In fact, let me rephrase that. They do have a sense of right or wrong. They only do what fills their pocket and eliminates witnesses from their uh, peripheral. Any witnesses in their path, in their wake, they will remove them. That's what they do. So they do know the difference between right and wrong. They just don't care. They're all about themselves. And this is all they promote. This is all they promote. Now, they will have people around me that are recording everything I say. But I wish that they would. Because they're going to have to give accountability. But what prompted them to record this? I want people, the police to see whenever this comes to light. And I'm still fervently hoping it does. They are probably hoping it does not. Why are they recording me? Why not come and ask me, why are you saying these things? Why record me? I am recording anybody. I'm just not interested. I'm not interested in what they wear, what they do, what, how many times they sleep, how many times they've had sex, how many times they make love, how many times what the color their underwear is. I simply don't give a crap. I don't. Stuff like that does not excite me. If I'm interested in one particular person, then yes. As is normal, you have a crush, you have some feelings for someone. Everything about them you want to know because, they, you know, you, you like that. You imagine them all the time. You know, that's infatuation. That's love. That's love. But... Other than that, I have zero interest in anything they do. Any, I mean, like, literally zero interest. I simply don't care. And I believe in normal circumstances, neither would they. They wouldn't care either. This is why I know money is exchanging hands on some way along the line here. Along the path, there is money exchanging hands. There's somebody getting paid and somebody doing the paying. There's a payer and a payee. So... With that being said, is like what what these particular people are trying to do is to is, is to like 
record me um, like if I'm playing the game and I'm singing some song then suddenly I catch myself I'm saying hey little girl little girl I'm like okay what is that well like am I a pedophile now they're trying to push they're trying to like for me to be saying like like, like I'm into kids or um, I'm doing something uh, of pedophilia nature right like I'm a pedophile or some stuff like that I don't know I I don't know I don't know what it is um, and I've had a video that I, that I post yesterday where I was freezing and the video got banned because they said it's a medical, um, it's of a medical nature. I'm pretty sure because um, I've said the word pedophilia lot, lots of times. I don't know what they are. And there's, there's a million videos on YouTube with the word pedophilia, but you might find that this one is actually going to be banned because somebody is going to probably um, is going to probably report it. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't. And I've said the word because they're they're beginning to see the one yesterday that was banned or or they took the cont is that was the one where my hair was kind of like when I had um, my hand over my head and the the static was really strong. The static was really strong. That was happening a lot in my house in California. In my bathroom, my hair was all standing on. I don't know if they had a magnet or what they had, but it was a lot of static. There was a lot of static. And when every time I took a shower, uh, my my bathroom and the water used to, sm used to smell like... Imagine if you get a bunch of herbs, like these vitamin pills, and you crush them, how they would have that smell. Or if you go into an herbal shop, or any whole foods and you go in the, in the in the medicine aisle you know you have that smell that's what it used to smell like now i don't know what it was what they were what they might have been putting in the water or not i don't know if they were putting something i'm not sure but what where that smell was coming from i don't know but it was in my around my bathroom and my shower so with that being said also um I don't believe that they were using any, um, because the, the person and I, who I'm talking about, I'm referring to as she all the time, uh, she and I shared the same water tank. And I don't think that they were really using that water tank, which is another step that something was really going wrong here. Whatever they put in the water tank, they were not using it. If they did. I'm not saying they did, but if they did, then they were not. I mean, that just adds up because I was smelling something funny. I'm not accusing anybody. I'm just saying what happened. Is this a fact? As far as I can tell, yes, it is. I'm not accusing anybody. But this is what they want also. They're trying to push us so that we look like the bad guys. We look like the one who has it in for them. We look like the one who's aggressive. We look like the one who doesn't, who don't like them or who, who just wants to get at them or who, who wants, you know, to just to, to uproot their lives. They will push and push. You have no idea over this, over a year and a half, what this woman has done to me. You have no idea over a year and a half what this bitch has done to me. You don't know. You don't know the amount of people. Like in that motel, I told you, I, I realized how bad that was. People would be passing and spraying stuff. I could hear them spraying it outside my door at like 2 o'clock in the morning. They're always spraying. You're hearing the spray. You're hearing it. I woke up and... The, the the chain on the door, on the motel door, was just tucked in. Now, usually, who would do that? Somebody, it does, we can, this is the chain. You bring it, you, you push it in, and you pull it back. It was just hooked, like just like somebody from the outside tried to make it, try to put their hand in or to, to, to put it in the bigger slot and then pull it back where it's actually locked, and they just couldn't do it, so they just kind of tucked it as best they could. I'm the one locking it from the inside. I would have no problem. I, you know, the, the amount of, which means that they were coming into my room while I was there. Now, how could that be? What if I had woken up? What would have happened? 
And how would they be guaranteed that I wouldn't have woken up? I told the motel owner several times that I think, you know, people are passing, you know, it's like, like some, it's just weird. And I don't, they must have thought I was cuckoo or crazy because I used to, I don't know, the mirror in the bathroom, I used to put, stack like my um, toiletries on two or three, like on top, just in case if somebody would try to push the mirror to come in to my room. And they must have thought I was crazy, but I really didn't give a crap what they thought. I was trying to stay alive. This is what these people reduced me to. This is what that woman reduced me to. This is what she reduced me to. I've done nothing to do this. It's like, I don't know if I'm in some game show. I don't know if I'm in some, one of these illegal, black, black dark web, bullshit, whatever they have going. I don't know. I don't know because there's a lot of people out there, I think, are actually doing a lot of illegal stuff with unsuspecting people. Either that... It could be that or, or you know, and in addition to stealing stuff, they're still messing with me. I personally believe they, they probably are. I'm not sure, but they did steal stuff from me. They, they, they did steal stuff from me. So that, that's, that, that's the thing. It's like, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's like I want, it's like they're trying to, um, for me to say things, especially because she's telling me, she's always bringing up like kids in my head. First of all, I was an only child. I never really had children around me. I don't have siblings. I was not... Um, my cousins, I never spent, you know, time with their kids or anything like that. I, I, I'm not like a kid's person, not really. I've never really been around kids for that long. I would see them and then I would leave. You know, they're, they're really not uh, an issue with me. They terrify me, really, because they just stare at you. And when you're overweight, the first thing they'll say is, are you pregnant? And that I don't want to see, I don't want to hear anything else because kids have no filters. So they kind of terrify me, you know? So, but my, that's, as, that's as far as it goes. So, um, I, I don't know what she's trying to prove. I don't know what she's trying to do, but just like how you guys would hint that they're trying to get you to, to be act belligerently and get you to be like you they want to show that you're the aggressor you're attacking them you don't like them you want to get it you you want to you're you got something against them you want to do them in you want to do this you want to do that you want to do this all your faults all your faults all your fault this is what they want they want you to they want it to be seen like you are the aggressor and i could God is my witness, as God is my witness. And believe me, I'm a, I always value my soul above anything else. And anybody who, that's not vanity, because whoever values their soul is not going to hurt another human being. This is what's called for, 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 for valuing your soul, because you're not going to, I'm not going to value my soul and put someone else's in jeopardy because that will end up being my soul in jeopardy at some point. Because there will be hell to pay for that. And I'm not going to do that. So if you value your own soul, you're not going to hurt somebody else. Knowing you're going to have to pay for it. That's what I meant. When I was a child, younger, much younger, single digits. An older woman was knitting a mat by hand for my mom and we were sitting on the on the on the, the the back stairs of my house and i was just watching her knit and she turned to me and she said if we really thought about life we would never hurt a hair on anybody else's head i remember that up to this day if we really thought about life, we wouldn't hurt anyone. I don't know why she said it. She must have been deep in thought or we must have been talking about something and she said it. 
And I remember, and this was years ago. And I still remember it. I still remember it. I, I, I have a collection of different things that people say, you know, and I look for the ones that are, you know, are more beneficial, the ones that would cause less pain, less suffering to myself and anyone. I used to beat up on myself a lot. I find that that's not really working. This is why when I say I was a victim then, I was playing the fool then. I played the part of the victim in my own life. I was being an ass. And I got tough on myself. In this case, I'm not the victim, but I'm being victimized by someone, and so are you. You're not the victim here. You're being victimized by somebody else. So this thing where they're trying to do this, and I don't know in your particular case what your um, a band of merry vagabonds are trying to do to you, if it's something they're trying to make you look... Well, the most common ones would be alcoholism and drug addiction and schizophrenia. Maybe all three, you know, or something. Because I'm sure that they spritz and they spray you, probably using something that's odorless, you can't smell it. So if you go for a test anytime, they might find stuff in your blood. This is what they will do. This, this is what they will do. Now, people who are inclined to be violent in their nature, who gets angry and to be violent, when you they spray them with these different things and they alter their reality because there's something that they spray that used to make me very, very, very angry. Like really, this is when I first became aware of it. I, I used to get so angry because the unfairness of this was not easy to deal with. You know, and if, if she was in front of me, I probably would slam her against the wall. This is, this is how, it, you know, I get angry. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But this is how I used to feel. Would I kill her? Probably not. But I wouldn't have taken that either. The same way as if I had done that to her, she probably wouldn't have taken it either. She would have probably punched me right in the face. But that's the, that's the whole ball game with these people. They're always trying to make us look like, like, like the, the bad ones. I don't know why, but they, they've done so much to us. It's like, what, I, I just don't understand what's the chain of command here in their thoughts. I mean, what are they trying to do? Do they want us to be arrested? If so, why? Why? I don't understand. How is this how is this of any benefit to them? Okay. I'm going to let's just say it. they want me to get arrested or they want me to get deported. Well, I can see the deportation if they stole from me then they don't want me to find out. That's one. And if you're in a different country it's kind of hard to fight back. And so somebody who was born and raised here, say, there's no way to deport them, right? So they want them to get locked up. They want them to be seen as less than. They want them to be a not credible witness. To be a, a witness that has no credibility. Just in case if they mess, they go too far with someone else and... They end up in jail, so they want to make sure that, you know, people who were related to them in the past that they may have messed with, they want to make sure that those people's um, testimony will not be valid. Well, I'll say something, and believe me, if these people get caught, the people who are bothering me and who are bothering you, this is how it'll go down, trust me. If they find two or three people with a real investigation who are exhibiting the same symptoms, no matter how crazy they try to make us look, that is what will go against them. Because the police will see the pattern. The FBI will see the pattern. The DA's office is going to see the pattern. That same pattern that they're trying to, to, to make everybody look stupid and crazy 
That's what's going to work against them. They say that you can do evil, but you can't do it for as long as you, as you want. There's come a time when it's going to be a cutoff point. Whatever they're trying to do to you and me, whatever they're trying to establish is going to work against them. Because they're idiots at the end of the day. Because I know one thing, if you don't pay now, you don't do serve time now, you, you pay later at some point. There's accountability for what we do. They would like to think that there isn't, but I'm sure there is. When Christ, when people used to get healed by Christ, you know what Christ used to say, go in peace. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace and don't sin again. I think there were power in was power in those words. Meaning that now you know better. I'm gonna expect you to do better. Now that you know better, I'm gonna expect you to do better. These ones, well, they simply don't care. So don't want to be them, not really.